Hi, and welcome to Industry Insights, part of the Remy Network. My name is Mike, and uh, of course, this is just one of many episodes where we're reaching out to the experts in the field in the property management industry, and we are coming to you live today from Condo 23, the uh, condo show here in Toronto at the Congress Center, and uh, we've been lucky enough to line ourselves up with our first guest. Don't forget to subscribe, tell a friend about the series, and uh, you'll meet all kinds of great and uh, very interesting, informative people in this series. Today is no exception. Bob Maslanka, thank you so much for joining us from Tag Tech. Thank you so much, sir. We, Pleasure to meet you. Now, we did this uh, virally last time. I mean, virtually last time. We, we hope to be viral with this one. Uh, but it's uh, nice to see you in person. And, and thank you so chat. much for inviting us. You guys blew my mind in our first uh, discussion. You and Alex were talking about the history of where your company came from. And I think that's a good place for us to start because you come from the industry of plumbing and you know what can go wrong. Why is monitoring what you have in the way of incoming and outgoing water and waste so important to these uh, to, in this day and age? Okay. It's very important and also it's critical because in latest technology in high-rise building, when they build in GTA area, the problem that we have is the leaks. The problem that we have is the temperature. The problem that we have is the flow. How can we control this without having the system that we implement? Simply, it is not possible to get this mechanically control unless you have digital system of monitoring temperature, pressure, and flow. Right. What are some of the catastrophic outcomes if you don't have control of that and knowledge of what's going on? The catastrophic outcomes are floods that cause so many millions of dollars within industry. It's not just the flood in the pipe itself. It... When, the plumb bur when the pipe bursts or when the pipe leaks, obviously it causes a lot of damages to the property. Yeah. So it's very critical to take action as soon as it starts leaking. How can we do that? The flow sensors. We implemented the flow sensors that are installed in critical areas of the building where you get the signal to your phone or, and also to the internet through the email within 10 to 20 seconds. So the customer will be aware there's an issue within the building or area where it's flooding from and will exactly tell you where the problem is, the location. Critical is location. Bob, when, at what point in your career and in your business um, in the plumbing field did you say, okay, enough is enough, this has to, there has to be a better way? I have been working in, a, in GTA area for the last 31 years. Okay? There was no technology back then to prevent as much as possible from flooding, from excessive temperature, pressure. So the techn latest technology came on the market, so we decided enough is enough. Why? We, we replaced about 10,000 units with a new piping system from Kitec to Upener pipe. Obviously, nobody checks the pressure and temperature according to manufacturer recommendation. So you're replacing something into the new product where we find out the temperature and pressure is excessive. And so that was preventable in the first place. Now, it just seems to me, Bob, with all due respect, it's better for you if stuff goes wrong with plumbing. No, it's better for your business? For me, my friend, I tell you, you know, I like to be five-star technician because obviously at the very end, I'm looking at the outcome of what you can do to prevent. How can you protect the floods? How can you satisfy the people that are buying the properties and they live there? Obviously, you have so many leaks within the industry or within the co condo units, your maintenance fee goes up. Right. Exactly. This is a really, uh, this is a cost saving, uh, cat catastrophe uh, mitigating bit of application here. And it seems to me that if you're not using this in the future, that could, maybe down the road, affect your warranties, your insurance, uh, the value of your building, uh, how happy your your uh, tenants are. All of that seems to be impacted by this tech tech and technology. 100%. We can we can save a lot of money for the, you know, for the unit owners of the condominium corporations by having implementing system into their buildings. And besides that, we record temperature pressure 365 days, 24 hours around the clock. 
in situations where we already had when there was excessive pressure and temperature and we have buildings that are two and a half years old they have so many leaks from the pipes that are guaranteed for 25 years from manufacturer so you're really enforcing the warranty by keeping this uh, maintenance in place and this monitoring in place you could go back to the manufacturer and say look here's where we're at right now but we're supposed to be here and we know because we've been monitoring it this is correct this is the only proof that we can give by by measuring temperature and pressure to manufacturer or to the original installer because obviously right now nobody's recording this so the people don't know who to blame who's responsible for setting up now the they pressure know exactly and temperature. what everything was set to and they've got proof of the issue this is correct Bob I'm going to tell you I'm really I have a lot of admiration for what you guys did here because you came from the field and then you created the technology to enhance what you do for your clients not for your business necessarily but for your clients and I really admire that thank you so much look I'll tell you what this has been a good conversation but what I'd really like to do is dig a little bit deeper do you have an engineer that I might talk to yes I do have an engineer uh, Arnish is here with us he's okay. a very talented man uh, with right. a lot of knowledge that he helped us a lot let's do this let's get him in and I can grill him on all the technology not that I have any real knowledge of that but we'll give it a try Bob thank you I appreciate this. thank you so much Mike appreciate it. So who we could refer to as the chief cook and bottle washer at Tag Tech, uh, where the technology came from. But now we're going to reach a little bit deeper into what the technology is. Arnesh Dewar, thanks for joining us. He's thanks the engineer uh, behind this technology. And you, you even brought some show and tell for us. I did, yes. This technology revolves around keeping us informed at any given minute as to the pressure, the temperature, the input, the output of what's going on. That's right. Where does this arrive from? Where does this technology begin? At? How did it arrive here? Yeah, so this is all cloud-based technology. It's been around for a long time, but it's ripe for innovation and for disruption in this specific industry. There hasn't been anyone else that's doing what we're doing, and we're taking cloud computing, we're taking RFID, we're taking all these different aspects of technology that have been applied to various other fields and putting it into this field and totally modernizing it and bringing it into the future. What is all this in front of us then? This <laughs> yes. looks kind of familiar. Yes. <laughs> this is a, a standard valve, no? That's right, exactly. And uh, if you had this kind of valve in a mechanical room or on any floor, it would just be just like this. Right. Right. Um, it would be up in a ceiling panel, perhaps, and you wouldn't be able to get all the information about it. But with our... Sometimes it's even hidden away. You can't get even, exactly. even the imprinted data that they've left behind is... That's right, yeah. They might have a physical tag, and that would be with a paper chart, but it's going to be missing a lot of critical information. Right. right? So that's where our technology comes in. Oops. We have these Tactica RFID tags. We tag all our assets. And uh, using this scanner, you're able to pick up any asset and find the last service date. You're able to see what it does, photos of it, and the entire history of when it was installed up till today. When we add one of these to a valve, I would assume that th this device allows you to input the information right. the first time? That's right, yeah. This is really fascinating. Uh, what are some of the results you've seen in the positive side of things for clients? Uh, absolutely, so we've seen, we've done case studies with many different buildings in Toronto. And um, just by having our software, you're able to mitigate floods, you're able to stay on top and uh, you know, reduce the number of valves that need to be replaced in general, just by doing proper maintenance, keeping on top of things. I find this to be incredible and, and that it's arrived, as I say, from the field. It just wasn't a technology somebody's trying to apply to the field. It just feels like it was built from the beginning exactly. to work properly. That's exactly what it is. Yeah. Arnesh, thanks so much for your time today. Thanks Tag for having Tech, me. Uh, where can we find out more about Tag Tekka? Uh, you can find out more about Tag Tekka on our website, www.tagtekka.com. And also you can uh, reach out to us by email as well, info at tagtekka.com. When it comes to the details, I knew I could count on the engineering department. Thanks so much. <laughs> no problem. Thank you for joining us. Don't forget to sign up for this series. It's called Industry Insights, part of the Remy Network. Today we've been speaking with Tag Tech, and we'll catch you next time right here on Industry Insights. Thanks.